It has been confirmed that Full Sail University Tournament, otherwise known as the Regional Qualifiers, is going to be on the Xbox 360. Nope. What's up guys, it's Hitch here and this is UMG Weekly, the series where we talk about the news that happened that week. So last week, of course, I said that the regional qualifiers would be held on the Xbox 360, and it turns out that it was tweeted that it was going to be on the Xbox One. It was confirmed by Sundance, he said that the Xbox One was going to be used at the regional qualifiers. We're not sure about COD Champs yet, but yeah, so I was wrong. So we've seen all the major pro teams switch back over to the Xbox One from the 360, so we're finally on the right track, and regional qualifiers are this weekend. And this is the first event since Philly, and I am getting that pre-event hype going in me. I don't know about you guys. We've got 16 teams, and only eight are gonna be able to make it to champs, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see some clutches, some trash talk, and overall just some great Call of Duty. And another awesome thing that happened over this past week was actually the European qualifiers for Call of Duty champs. And it was an awesome tournament. 13 teams from Europe actually are going to be able to get in to COD Champs. And uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out those teams. And not to many people's surprise, the two teams that were in the championship of the European qualifiers were TCM and Epsilon. And TCM ended up winning it 3-1. to one, And I'm actually nervous for some of the, the American teams going up against such a solid squad. I mean, the American teams obviously, as of now, are so focused on the other American teams just to get to qualify for COD Champs, but I feel like sometimes we tend to forget that this is the world Call of Duty Championships and there's so many teams out there you have to focus on and you can't you can't overlook anyone. But it was a great tournament, congratulations to TCM and I can't wait to see what they do at Champs. And for the weekly update of our MLG Pro Circuit Bracket, we have the top three being Curse LV, Phase, and Strictly Business. And speaking of the MLG Qualifier, there was a website that was released over the past week called COD Esports TV. There have been some people on Reddit and on Twitter that have been keeping track of the stats of every team and, and some of the players, and that's what COD Esports TV is bringing to the table. There's going to be player stats and team stats, and it's really awesome to see our community take this step forward. Because now the different stats and different features are being recorded, it opens up the doors for so many other creative opportunities, and I'm, I'm really excited to see where it goes. And also, another cool thing that happened over this past weekend was the huge UMG tournament ran through Main Stage Games was held. And as awesome tournaments always do, it came down to the fifth map, which was a search and destroy on Warhawk, 5-5, last round, and it's a really intense matchup. And Donut Shop was playing with Goonjar from TK, and Sigma was playing with Embos from Optic, so the matchups were highly competitive, and if you ever have a spare moment, I really suggest go check it out, it's really entertaining. So big shout outs to Sigma for pulling through in the tournament, and winning your hotel accommodations and team pass for UMG Niagara, I can't wait to see you there, and I wish you the, the best of luck. And now for our random news segment, I don't know what happened this week, but it just seemed like everyone was uploading hilarious videos. So one of the funniest ones by far was Nameless. He uploaded a video of him getting absolutely destroyed by Killa. You really get to see how much connection really matters in this game because Nameless was like four feet behind a wall and Killa just destroyed him. And you know what? I'll, let's just make Nameless our player of the week. So if you haven't checked out any of Nameless's videos before, they're all hysterical. He uploads pretty much every time that he gets destroyed online so it's got to be so frustrating for him to see these inconsistencies online and how it negatively affects him but it is hilarious for the viewers whenever he uploads it because just how he acts whenever whenever something happens to him like that it's just I really really recommend you go check it out I'll put some links in the description for you another person who uploaded a funny video was Moho in a video titled How to Be the Best at Call of Duty, Moho takes out his frustrations with the game and the community in a very sarcastic kind of way, which is it's really funny. Crim6 of Complexity also uploaded a hilarious video. He's playing Octane and he throws a nade over near gas and it destroys and collapses the entire gas and lands right on top of parasite and he he just busts out laughing it's it's really short but is really hilarious another funny video was during the optic scrims clayster actually 
clutched a 1v4 situation. But previously in the maps prior to that, Clayster wasn't doing so well in some of the other maps and so Optic was already in that mindset of making fun of him and poking little jabs at him. And so when he does 1v4 clutch it, he gets really excited and really pumped up and they're just laughing and being hysterical and is really sarcastic and funny. I don't know. Just go check it out. I really, really recommend it. All right, and I guess that leaves us with the question of the week, which is what is the funniest video that you have ever seen in the Call of Duty esports community? Whether that be some of these nameless videos, some of the old killer videos in the past, regardless of whatever it is, I want to know what your favorite is. And as always, thank you guys so much for the support. If you want to know any more about the stories that I cover, links will be in the description of those. And if you want to talk a little bit more about the question of the day, there's also be a link to the subreddit in the description. And if you have any constructive criticism for me, you can put them in the comments or at me on Twitter, and I'll be sure to tweak some things for next week's episode. And as always, my name is Hitch. This has been this week's episode of UMG Weekly, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys. Peace.